send your artwork to FNM to be made into custom screen printed heat transfers, we ask that you also send a proof file in a JPEG or PDF format to accompany your art file, which would be in an AI, CDR, or EPS format. The reason we ask for a proof is so that we can confirm any questions that we may have with your art file. For instance, if there's white in your artwork, we can be sure where white is printing by comparing that to your proof. Uh, also, sometimes things happen where uh, a customer may have a different version of Corel Draw that they export as an EPS, and then uh, opening that EPS in certain versions of Illustrator can create conflicts. We compare that file before we send it to press with your proof file to confirm and ensure that we have exactly what you want printing going off to press, ensuring quality result at the end. So I have a vector file here set up. This is my gang sheet. It's all laid out and ready to go. I'm going to uh, save my AI file first out of Illustrator. Simple file, save as. It's named as the FM logo sheet. And I'll click save. And it's saved and ready to go. And now I'm ready to create my proof. So the proof is basically your artwork shown on a contrasting, non-white, non-printing background color. All this means is a color that represents the garment or the substrate, something that is uh, going to show contrast between your artwork and the background. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'll just draw a rectangle over the top of my artwork here. And it's bright green. Um, sometimes I use uh, magenta or a bright pink. Just try to choose a color that's obviously not involved in the artwork uh, that just shows good contrast. And I'm going to select this and right click it and choose Arrange, and then Send to Back. And now you can see that my artwork is set up on that non-printing background color. This magenta is not a good fit because I have uh, red in my design. It's a little too close, so I want to make sure I have great uh, contrast. I'll come back and I'll change that to a bright green. I'm satisfied with that contrast. And all you need to do out of Illustrator now is go to File, Export, and uh, I'm going to choose the format, which is a JPEG. And I will click Export, Save, OK. Uh, there's some options where you can adjust the resolution of your JPEG. Uh, the default settings are fine. And I will click OK. And now I have two files set up and ready to go off to place my order. So when you use the online order form and you upload your art files, you upload your AI, EPS, or CDR art file into the art file uh, attachment location. And then you'll upload your JPEG or PDF proof into the proof file location.